Shocking scenes occurred today as the Hasbro factory burns to the ground. Fire officials fear that the man seen breaking into the premises may have been consumed in the flames. Good evening, Marvel Legends. I've missed you so much, especially when I have such oh, wonderful stories to tell. Do you like my friend here? I've brought the big chap with me as in this burnt out factory, don't know how that happened, I can't seem to find any Kitty Pride figures. Then again, it would seem that no one can find any Kitty Pride figures. She is tricky to get one's hands on. But you see, this gentleman represents a uh, pretty good example of the themes we're dealing with here tonight. You see, the X-Men have dealt with all kinds of creatures and monsters, not just confined to the mutant variety. And on one dark and terrifying night, young Kitty Pride finds herself trapped alone in the X-Mansion, in fact, on Christmas Eve. So is this a Christmas tale or a Halloween story? Well, let's call it A Nightmare Before Christmas, or as it was called in the comics, Demon. Our story opens with a flashback to the X-Men's first battle with the Nagarai. Specifically, Sorm's destruction of the obelisk, which was the nexus of the gateway between their world and ours. The X-Men believe that, with the obelisk gone, the gate was sealed, but unbeknownst to them, a lone demon slowly crawled from amidst the rubble, free in our world. In the present day, we find a couple out looking for their first Christmas tree. Quickly, their happiness turns to terror when the Nagarai demon swiftly kills them and feasts upon them, body and soul. Meanwhile, at the X-Mansion, Kitty is having a lesson on how to pilot the Blackbird. Angel interrupts the lesson to let Xavier know that it is time to be going. In the entranceway, Logan introduces Mariko Yashida to Professor X. A mistletoe prank of Kurtz with Mariko draws Wolverine's ire, but things are soon set right, although the mood is tense. Never rub another man's rhubarb. Kitty lightens the atmosphere by playing a similar trick on Colossus, who blushes deeply. Then most of the X-Men depart, Wolverine and Mariko, Angel off to see Candy Southern, and Professor X, Peter, Aurora, and Kurt depart in the Rolls Royce, leaving Kitty Pride alone in the mansion. Or so she thinks. Kitty, feeling lonely, tried to call her parents to no avail. Still at loose ends, Kitty decided to work out using a Danger Room exercise program. However, her exercise is interrupted by the intruder alarm activating in Aurora's room. Not wanting to disturb the police over what may be something as simple as a fallen branch, Kitty decides to investigate. Yes, that's right. The young, vulnerable girl, all alone in the spooky house, goes to investigate a strange noise. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Of course, to her horror, she discovers the Nagarai demon. Kitty races for her life through the mansion, phasing through walls with it fast on her heels. Losing it briefly at one point, she tries to make a phone call to the other X-Men. The demon, however, was waiting for her. And while she phased in time, she still felt the claws as it scythed through her incorporeal form. She escapes to the danger room, air walking up to the control booth to use the room against her attacker. The demon was taking its time to appear, however, and she was starting to wonder just how smart it was, when to her shock, instead of the room below, it enters the control booth right behind her. Kitty backpedals into the danger room, and the demon pursues her quite easily through the unbreakable glass. The danger room comes to life, and Kitty manages to barely keep ahead of the beast and not get struck by the obstacles in her way. Of course, the demon simply tears through everything the room has to offer, 
but is delayed long enough for Kitty to make it out of the danger room and into the rail car, which will transport her to the hangar. A cable car? To the location of the final showdown? <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't have to collect five keys and several medallions beforehand. I'm sure the Resident Evil team were taking notes. Halfway to the hangar, the demon ruptures the rail, forcing Kitty to travel the rest of the distance on foot. Weary from exhaustion, Kitty makes it to the Blackbird. Its turbine engines are pointed down the tunnel, the only possible path for the demon to pursue her. Frantically, she starts going through the ignition checklist, and at the last possible moment, as the demon races towards the ship, she ignites the engines, blasting the monster in a raging inferno. Smile, you son of a bit! Oh, no, wait, that's the wrong movie franchise. Convinced her nightmare is over, she exits the plane, air walking confidently that nothing could have survived, when suddenly from the ashes, a burned claw slashes towards her. The X-Men return home to a darkened house, having encountered police earlier warning them of gruesome murders that have occurred in the area. Wary, and with Professor X's telepathy somehow foiled, they enter cautiously, only to find Kitty curled up watching television by the fire. She is overjoyed that the X-Men have returned, along with her parents in tow. It turns out that final swipe was the creature's dying attempt to kill Kitty. It made the supreme effort and failed. Like any good horror movie villain, it just wanted to give us one last scare. And that was Demon, otherwise known as Guess What Just Came Down the Chimney. Not quite a Christmas story, but not quite a Halloween story either, but certainly plenty of horror on the menu. This is a wonderful tale that harkens back to the glory of Ridley Scott's Alien. There's no doubt that uh, a lot of inspiration, shall we say, was taken from that wonderful tale, and so well done. What better X-Man than the young Kitty Pride to be trapped alone with a terrifying monster? At first glance, one would think, hmm, Kitty Pride able to phase through anything. Well, surely there's no tension there. However, they quickly establish that the sharp claws of the demon are quite capable of, at the very least, inflicting tremendous pain. It's a fantastic cat and mouse story that ends with a classic horror movie scare. I would never do something so cheap. Bah! <laughs> Until next time, Marvel Legends, keep displaying horrific behavior. <laughs>